Hi, and welcome to a MathRevision.net video on SIRDs. So what is a SIRD? A SIRD is a root of a number that doesn't give a whole number. So a good example of a SIRD is 5, because the square root of 5 is 2.236067, and there's an infinite decimal after that. So we tend to just stick with the square 5. So there are many different rules to remember when working with SIRDs, and the first one is that the square root of AB is the same as the square root of A times the square root of B. So, for example here, the square root of 20 can be either two things, the square root of 10 times the square root of 2, or the square root of 5 times the square root of 4. Now, we want to use the square root of 5 times the square root of 4, because we know the square root of 4 is actually 2, so we can write the expression 2 square root 5. Another important rule to remember is that square root a over square root b is the same as square root a over b. So to simplify root 18 over root 2, we make root 18 over 2, which makes root 9. And since root 9 is not absurd, the answer is exactly 3. The next rule we need to bear in mind is if the denominator was a root, we must rationalise it. So if we were to simplify and rationalise the equation root 14 over root 5, we can remember the rule that root a times root a equals a. Applying this rule to our denominator, we must also remember that what we do to our denominator, we must also do to our numerator. So, root 14 over root 5 times root 5 over root 5 gives us the answer root 14 times root 5 over 5. So to simplify this even further, we remember that root a times root b is the same as root ab. So, continuing on with our example, root 14 times root 5 equals root 14 times 5, or simply root 70. So bringing everything together, root 14 over root 5 times root 5 over root 5 equals root 70 over 5. Finally, we might be asked a question involving brackets, such as 6 minus root 8 squared. To simplify this, we simply multiply out the brackets. So 6 minus root 8 squared becomes 6 minus root 8 times 6 minus root 8. 6 times 6 gives us 36. 6 times root 8, because it's a minus, gives us minus 6 root 8. We have minus root 8 times 6, which we know is still minus 6 root 8. And when you have two minuses times each other, that's a plus. And root 8 times root 8 is simply 8. So carrying on, we add 36 to 8, and minus 6, 8 plus minus 6, 8 is minus 12, 8. So the answer is 44 minus 12 square root 8. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can find more information at mathsrevision.net, and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Revision World TV.